What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dude, and I'm back with another video. Today is Vlogmas 23, and um, today's video is about a pair of J's, bro, that I had uh, when, I was a ch when I was a kid back in 2001 when they first released. It was the Jordan 16, Jordan 16 Breads. These Jordans was, was like grails to me, you know what I'm saying? It's the best pair of J's I had. I wore these Jordans. Um... Of course, I had like the taxis. I'm not the taxis, the uh, playoffs. Uh, I think the playoffs was my first pair of Jordans. But I remember these shoes right here also clear as day because I was a little bit older. I was understanding you had J's on your feet, like who you was. I got understood when he was younger, but in 2001, you know what I'm saying? Let me see. I was like in the sixth grade. I think I was playing basketball and everything at that time. 2001. Yeah, I had to be in the sixth grade. The sixth or the fifth grade. Fifth or sixth grade. Let's just say it like that. But um, I was playing basketball at that time. Uh, if you don't know, my favorite, my favorite NBA player is uh, Vince Carter, actually. And uh, but these J's they came out like I think they were, I, I looked them up. They say the retail price was one fifty five. I know they was expensive at the time because I remember my mom like going like not not going crazy but telling me like okay if I buy you these shoes you ain't getting to you ain't getting another pair for a while you better make them last. And boy I did not I did not listen. So man look, Jordan sixteen breads, so fire. You know what I'm saying? It got like that. It got that that that. That uh Jordan 11 on the toe, you know what I'm saying? That that pattern on the, on the toe, and like the cover of the shoe, like it could unbutton and strap and come off. Like it got like it had like a little bitty magnet. I never forget it was a little bitty magnet. As soon as you lined up with the hole, it go, it just lock itself, and um you were able to remove it, remove the little cover. When you remove the little cover, it's a whole other pair of shoes under there. It's like uh. Another pair of J's and they got like a little yellow, like a little yellow lime color, like Mountain Dew looking color background, right? And I mean, I, I used to be swaggy with these joints, dog. I wore these shoes all day, every day, to the point where I wore them sometimes without socks. I played in them. Like I try to keep them clean, but I like, man, they, those shoes was supposed to stuff. Like I just remember the feeling like when I got the shoes. I couldn't wait to be seen in them, dog. Like I felt like I felt like I spent a million dollars on these shoes, and I ain't spent a penny. My mama bought them, but bro, these shoes was so amazing, dog. Like, and I still look at them like that because I just know the story behind them. But <coughs> me wearing them so much, I wore them a couple of times without socks, and they started getting stink. And I remember doing like a full clean on them, washing like I washed them without even knowing how to wash them. Like I really like. Cleaned them with a, with a towel, a toothbrush. I put soaps and stuff on it. I submerged the whole shoe. Like, you know, them little, them little, them little bedpan buckets. Like, they used to be pink. You get them from the hospital. That's what I clean, used to clean my shoes in as a child. And I put the shoes, like, almost like as if they was going inside of a shoe box in the, in unsubmerged in the water, rubbing them. I'm taking a shoe pad out and scrubbing them and stuff. And, this is where I really, 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 really messed up, right? So, these shoes was not supposed to go in no dryer. I don't know what I was thinking as a child, but I just also remember when I put them in the dryer, bro, I'm like, man, I'm like, I need my shoes. I need my shoes to be dry. And you used to always hit, them, hit my mom and them be like, man, you clean your shoes, set them out in the sun, let them dry out. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of bad, too, because they could change the color or whatever, but they had that old school shoe, like Converse. They could stick them in the wash and the dryer and stuff. But, uh, bro, I stuck these things in the dryer. Didn't pay them no mind. Put them on. Put them on like I put on the, um, I put the time on like I was putting on a load of, uh, clothes to dry. Man, I went and checked my shoes. And they're just using this as an example. See this inside right here? I remember this part detail. Like my shoe had got both pair got wedged in between. Like if you open the dryer and you look, they got like one bar, another bar, and another bar. Like it's three like little 
things inside the dryer, right? My for some reason my shoe managed to get wedged in between the little bar things, like the little whatever they call it inside the dryer. Bro, when I didn't hear my when I when when, they, when the dryer was on and I didn't hear that boom 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 boom, boom noise no more. And I'm like, man, I'm like, like, like what's going on? I went and checked them. Dog, this right here was melted. It was it was like one was melted to the point where I was able to just put my finger in it. And the other pair, I remember it being so soft, like it was like Play-Doh. Like I was able to just like push my hand in and it wouldn't, it wasn't, it didn't break, but I was able to push my hand all the way through like the shoe. Like that was, I was so heartbroken, but immediate heartbroken followed by immediate fear. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, like if you in the hood, your mama, by which I always did good, get good, good. I got good grades and stuff, right? So it's like I was being rewarded when I, when, whenever my my mama could or whatever. But these J's was like expensive, you know what I'm saying? I already had invested myself. I gave up future shoes for a while for these shoes, you know what I'm saying? And I immediately tried to like avoid my mama like uh seeing them, but I ended up showing them. And I remember, I remember, I don't remember the exact words. I ain't gonna lie. I remember her saying, boy, you know, you boy. I remember explaining to her what I did. Like, I'm trying to clean them up. I cleaned them and I put them in the dryer and they got stuck in the dryer thing. And I was like, like, I just remember explaining it to her and she didn't, I didn't get no whooping or nothing for it, but I just remember, like, I still tried to wear them and she ended up buying me some more shoes, but it wasn't, wasn't no Jordans for a while. Like it was, it probably was some little regular Nikes. Like I know we used to have stores called like, um, uh, a store called like Wieners and stuff like that. Like they sold like clothes and shoes. It was like a Burks, like not Burks outlet. It's more like a, a Ross or something like that. Ross or what's the other, what's the other company? Ross and the competition, not Burks outlet. Marshalls. It was like a raw slash Marshalls. That's what it was. And uh I remember getting some shoes, some regular shoes, but I don't remember what it was. I just remember just being grateful that she didn't go upside my head for uh messing up her money. Like don't get me wrong, I had the shoes probably for like a month, maybe a month and a half, but I wore these shoes every day. Like Buku Giants they came out after that and I was I, I didn't care. Like these was the truth. You know what I'm saying? But this was like 2001. Dog, these shoes are so amazing. And I still might order. I might cop these too. If you know my story with the playoffs, I plan on copping the playoffs. I really want the uh the wings. They look just like them, but they got the gold stuff on it. And I also want to get these too, thinking about it. Like I, I really want to get these. I looked them up on uh GOAT. GOAT don't have them brand new, they have them used for 240. Uh, stock X have them for 420. Just, just those. But you also could get them for a thousand with the countdown pack. Like it comes with like the Jordan 5 or Jordan 6. I'm not sure which one. I'm not, I don't want to lie to you. But it's, it's two pairs of shoes for a stack, a thousand. But man, I just remembered all those shoes, bro. I was so heartbroken. And then once, <laughs> once my mama didn't didn't get too mad with me, cause she basically I put effort into trying to keep them clean. I just didn't understand that I couldn't put them in a the dryer. And when I put them in a the dryer, man, she seen like how it looked. It's like it was a mistake on my part, but it ain't like I banged them up on the street. Like I try to keep them clean. I try to preserve the the freshness of them, and I just destroyed them. And I look, I tried to play ball and stuff in them, dog. And I just remember the hole being right here. And like, when they were so soft, when I took them out the dryer, I was able to just like, like bend them, dog. They were able to, this part and this part was able to touch. I was able to close it like a flip phone. I was able to go, it was so soft. All this was soft. But yeah, man, that's the video, bro, bro. Jordan 16 breads. These was, these was some lit pair of shoes of my childhood. I think this was the best pair of Jordans I had in my childhood to me. And, uh, 
I might end up copping them too. Like, as soon as I get my bread right, I'm going crazy with the shoes. Y'all gonna probably see some shoe reviews on some shoes that ain't come out in so long. Like, I'm pretty sure y'all gonna go look up the Jordan 16s now. I, I, I'm gonna upload enough pictures for you to see, but yeah, man. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, bro, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, comment below what you think about these. Uh, have, do you have any crazy shoe stories? Comment below, bro. Um, John 16s. I gotta put them in the collection. But anyway, man, that's the end of the video. I hope y'all like it. Y'all be cool.